Hi. So I am going to be talking about the dreaded B minor chord. Um, I am going to be playing it like this. It is a shape uh, that is movable up the fretboard. Um, it comes from the A minor chord, right? So if you take this A minor in the open position, I think everybody knows the A minor chord. And what you do is you do this little presto changeo of the fingers. So instead of playing one, two, three, you play two, three, four. Okay, so it's the same fingering as that A minor. And to get a B minor, you take that shape and move it up, not one set of frets, two set of frets. And then you just put this finger on B. There it is, your B minor chord. Now, to play that B minor, you're hitting strings five, four, three, and two. Don't hit one, uh, no. Um, you wanna hit just the middle strings. Now, what tends to happen, I happen to be holding this finger very rounded, but what happens is most people tend to bring that finger back. So you hear it? That top string is muted anyway. Now, you can take it another step um, and that finger can be barred. Uh, if you bar it, then you would be playing that high E string um, there on the second fret. So it would sound like this. Hear that? It's a nice sound, but that requires a bar, right? Where I'm putting substantial pressure um, to hold the bar in place. Uh, so you don't have to play it that way. You can play it as a regular chord. See, I pick that finger up. It's not barring anything anymore. Um, and just play it on the middle set of strings. Um, there is a fragmented B minor chord um, that I know sometimes people like to play, which is literally just the top four strings of that bar chord I just played. So basically what happens is in that bar chord, if you take out the bar, but you don't play this note, you end up playing this chord, which is strings four, three, two, and one. Eh. There you have it. Um, I tend to not encourage people to play this chord. Um, I feel like folks find it easier to learn, right? It's easier certainly than a bar. Um, and they don't necessarily want to learn the maneuvering of this B minor chord with your finger up. So they learn this chord. Okay, that's cool. It's very difficult to move that chord, right? So let's say you're in the key of D and a standard uh, progression is D, um, B minor, which is the sixth chord, um, to E minor, and then A. So now here you are. So now I played that with two bars on each. Let's play it with a bar on each. Sounds good, right? Now I'm going to try the same progression, but play that abbreviated B minor chord. Try it again. I'll get it this time. I didn't get it this time.
this time. I did get it. I, I got it. Why is it more difficult? Because what happens is this finger has to plant on the high E string rather than grabbing a bass note on the lower strings. It's just a more difficult trans transition. Humble opinion. Um, the uh, B minor, especially in the key of D, can also at times head to the A chord. Um, for example, in Under the Boardwalk, if you're playing in D, uh, it's it goes like this. And here comes that B minor. And there, see that B minor, see where the finger is planted, rather than up here on that on that high E string, it's down here. Um, see it? That all the fingers stay in that same range rather than moving from here to here, right? It's actually a much smaller motion. Um, to learn to play B minor, practice, um, and also really deciding which one you're gonna play. Um, even though I don't particularly love this abbreviated version one, if you do, stick with it. Play that one, practice that one. But don't practice it isolated. Don't just say, listen, I got a B minor chord because just playing it without moving it from one chord to another doesn't necessarily mean that you have it. So practice, um, make a decision, play that chord. Either the uh, B minor chord, just using the middle set of strings, the B minor with the bar with that top note or that abbreviated B minor chord. Um, they're all great chords. Um, I know people don't love them because they could be a little challenging to get working, but once you get them there, uh, as long as you have it, it's not going to go back the other way. So keep practicing, have fun, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.